a crappy, cold, wet day in Melbourne it greeted me. Not only that, what also greeted me is when I got to, off the plane, I had no service with the mobile. So I was freaking out because I needed to contact people today. Uh, and uh, so that was really a pain, but somehow I got that sorted out. I just pushed on, put on the data tab, and for some reason that seemed to activate it. It's working again. I don't know why, and it could easily go off again, but at least I've spoken to my cousin. And the other thing I've organised, I finally got back into my flat, so that's all arranged. And I'm just leaving the uh, law firm that's holding the original title to my property. So now all I've got to do is go to my conveyancer in the city, drop it off, and hopefully that's all the bureaucracy done. And I also found out from the agency today that the chances are there's no problem with the, uh, the property being sold. Quite often the, with the financing required, they go right up to the, uh, the, forward, the whole, the, the last minute to get the financing approved. So it's up till Friday. So more often than not, it's okay. So I'm probably panicking for no reason on that one. So that's good news. Jeez, I'm glad I live in Cairns. This is, you know, the thing about Melbourne is biting cold wind. That's a classic thing about Melbourne. It's uh, pretty bad. And this is a classic Melbourne wintry day. And it's in April. So, uh, yeah. It's uh, it's not as wet as it was in Singapore yesterday, though. That, that, that was really bad, but it is blowy and it's not great. So, uh, hopefully a tram will come soon. Get in the city, get all this stuff sorted out finally. And uh, at least I can relax in my flat uh, while I'm in the city, which is good. I'll drop the keys back off uh, tomorrow uh, at the agency. And hopefully everything will be fine. So we'll see how it goes. out of the way uh, and now I can uh, just wait for the next if, it, if uh, the finance goes through the property there'll be um, there'll be more documents to sign apparently so uh, it never ends the paper trail uh, they'll be sending it up to Cairns for me and I have to return it return uh, documents to them but at least getting the title, the original title is, is uh, an important step. So that's done. It's drizzling here. And uh, I can now go back to my uh, little cave and have a lie down, which would be nice. So uh, it's great to have my own little place in the city before I have to head off for my appointment later in the afternoon. Which is good. But uh, yeah, don't, no regrets leaving Melbourne, uh, and I can't believe I was even thinking about living in a place like Saigon. It would drive me berserk. I'd go absolutely crazy in a place that frenetic. system it's not automatic anyway I mean I don't know why Jetstar bother with it because you still need assistance I was able to print tag myself the bag tag it's about each the girls still have to attach it to the bag and make sure it was ready to go in I mean I can't see how it's a real labor saving thing for a start but anyway I don't want to persist with it I think it's bad PR and it doesn't achieve its purpose I got in here and I thought um, my flight was delayed uh, by 39 minutes, but actually that's it's actually saying the uh, the gate will not be displayed for 39 minutes, which leaves about five minutes to get to to the gate, which will probably be the other end of the building, so it's impossible to make. 
so I don't know what's happening there, but it probably means the flight really is delayed actually. But um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, but to you know, to the blind man, de delayed and displayed look very similar. So uh, a bit ominous. But um, yeah, as long as I get out of here sometime soon, it'll be good. Get back to Cairns. A uh, bit of a correction there that it actually does use the word delay before it says it's going to display the actual gate number in 34 minutes, so there is a delay of some description. So I'm not going to get in quite as early as I hope, but uh, uh, I suppose after what happened in Singapore, just getting there is going to be a, a, um, a major victory. So uh, it's all relative. Hopefully it takes off, that's the main thing. Well, at least the flight doesn't appear to be delayed too long. It's uh, probably about uh, just before 5 o'clock. We're all boarding now, so yeah, it won't be much of a delay at all, so that's good. And I've got an aisle seat, so it could be worse. I would have preferred seat, the window, but that's okay. Aisle's alright. So, and it's only a 3 hour, 20 minute flight, so it should be okay.